soap films and soap bubbles, what you need to realize is that they make their surface area as small as possible. And this is an important mathematical idea, a minimization problem. And we know what soap bubbles normally look like. If you just pull it through the air a little bit, you get round bubbles like that one. But if you take soap film and you connect it to frames like this one, you can get very different shapes appearing. So here we have a shape and you can see attached to this prism that it is solving a problem. What shape should it be if you're attached to all the edges of the prism and you have a bubble of air trapped in it? And you can see that there are straight lines, there are corners where things come together and also the bubble itself is not round, it has corners. Also you can see, and I think this is a really beautiful thing, an idea of symmetry. So at the moment the bubble is at this end, it's not in the middle because that would have a bigger area, but you can imagine you could have the bubble at the other end. So there must be two solutions, the one with the bubble here and also the one with the bubble at this end, which has just popped. So let me just do it again very quickly, pull it out. I've got some air here, bubble here. So there could be a bubble at this end, another solution. So let's see if we can get it. And you see, the bubble went straight to the other end and stays there. So there are two solutions, and that was something we could predict. And this symmetric idea is a very important thing in mathematics, and it's something we can see with something as simple and beautiful as a soap bubble.